Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 33 with another exhibition match. This time we're going to have Cube and Rymark going up against each other on Archer's Valley. This map is not one of my favorite maps. It's mostly because it's asymmetric. I am not a big fan of that. Oh, admittedly, there's Battle for Planet 17. That's also asymmetric. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people assert that this map is pretty well balanced, so just go with it. We'll see what happens. Anyway, Rymark in the south side of the map playing as Amphibious. Interesting choice on a flat map like this. While Cubay going for Amphib as well. I guess they must have been testing Amphib in this game. No other reason I can see why they both go for Amphib on a flat map with no water with several hills. Hmm. Well, must have been a test game. We'll see how that goes. Very, very interesting. So a bunch of ducks coming out for Cubay. These are fairly lightweight ducks. The ducks have been changed a ton. They're basically regular raiders now. Like 80 cost. They deal 230 damage per torpedo shot. Fairly powerful and 340 health, so they are powerful but fairly lightweight raiders compared to the way they used to be. And they fire off once every four seconds. That That is unchanged, but their cost is on par with the bandits. And their DPS is probably about on par too. They're just really high alpha raiders. Duck as well for Rymark, so he's pushing forward with that. And Cube going for a lot of raiders. Well, looks like Rymark going for a conch after the four ducks. Rymark appears to be more defensive, though the amount of raiders he's gone for, it's hard to say. Certainly not moving forward with them. Cube, however, is moving forward, so he's on the aggressive. And he hasn't built a conch yet. In fact, he's a little bit... He's starting to get a bit behind in the economy. Rymark will soon have the... Oh, he has the conch up now. Just setting it up for its construction, and then from there we will have... A... Well, I guess an economic advantage for Rymark. We'll see how that goes. Usually it goes well for the person with the economic advantage, but two metal economic advantage isn't a big deal. Cube getting conch of his own, so it should even out fairly quickly. Rymark, however, does have to deal with the fact that five ducks are coming into his base. That should be pointed out. Five ducks! That's a lot that's a thousand damage per shot. That will kill pretty much anything in one shot here, including this duck up here. So this defensive duck will be able to get one shot off. Might be able to damage one of the ducks decently. No, not even. Doesn't even get a shot off. Cube just kills it with no penalties whatsoever. Actually, might be getting another one as well, and not quite. No, he does get damaged by that particular duck. It does go down, but that commander... And the commander has 2,000 health. That's going to be two shots from all five ducks. And that commander is going to go down. Rymark is in a pretty tight spot right now. All the ducks have fired off. They are going for the commander. Although two of them have died. Another one's about to die. Another few shots go off, the commander will not die, but a bunch of Rymark's ducks do die. But thanks to Cube focusing on the commander, Rymark is going to defend successfully. Cube, however, does have more conscious coming in. He's not going for anything beyond that first raid. Rymark, however, is going for a counterattack, as would be expected, given the fact that he's just been attacked. He knows that Cube has lost a fair amount of his army, and Rymark actually didn't lose all that much. Commander got damaged, but only lost about one duck. Or maybe two. Eh. Doesn't really matter, it was all inside of Rymark's base. He only lost one, by the way. And Cubay lost everything. But Rymark's got a lot of reclaim to work with. Admittedly, now that they're, they're of course cheaper, the reclaim's only 60 reclaim rather than 80, which I think that might actually be a mistake. It's supposed to be 40% of the metal in reclaim. I think that might be an error. Because 60 is not 40% of 80. That's 75% of 80. Considerably different. Yeah, it should actually be third. No, what am I saying? It should be 32. But it's not. It is, in fact, 7. It is, in fact, 60. No. Cube going for another small raid over to the northeast, or the southeast side of the map, from the northeast side of the map. That could be fairly su successful. I think Rymark, is he aware? What is he aware of? He's aware of nothing. He actually doesn't know this raid is coming in. He has no radar. Cube, on the other hand, does not have radar either, going in line of sight, and has just found it by chance. So that will be a successful raid, but Rymark, he's not moving in to defend. He's actually going to possibly lose his conch. Probably not, though. The other duck should be there in time. Cube does not have a follow-up bes beside this. He's not going to be able to run in while the ducks are focusing on his one raid. Well, there goes that conch. That didn't work out too well. However, the metal extractor is not going to go down in one shot. Ducks do not one-shot metal extractors anymore with 230 damage. Still decent amount of damage. If you got one more shot off, that would work. And actually, he could kill this duck pretty well if he maneuvers just right. I don't know if Cube's going to do that. No, Cube actually not able to get that duck killed for free. Gets it killed, loses his duck in the process, and Rymark goes with the counterattack in force. 
Cuba at the same time, going for the south si southwest and west side of the map. Setting it up for economy, but Rymark well ahead in terms of economy, actually, with a lot of reclaim. Just all the reclaim that he grabbed from the ducks, that helps out a ton. And the counterattack has come in. One of Rymark's ducks goes down to a defender, but the rest of them just gonna be able to tear apart all of this economy. All these melee strategies that Cubair is gonna lose right now, and Cubay does not have anything to deal with this. A few ducks are being built up. Three ducks are. No! Scallop and two ducks moving into position. Good set of units to have, Scallop being anti AoE unit, anti group unit, very good crowd control. And it actually does have a range advantage. Does have outrange the ducks. Does definitely outfire rate the ducks. Those ducks cannot do much against the scallop. So once again, Rymark not really neither Rymark nor QB able to really attack the other too hard. But still dealing some damage. While QB is Well, he is continuing to push in actually with the 18 ducks he was building, though admittedly he still has a few left, but how many ducks does he have? Okay, Cube is the only one with ducks right now, and Cube has seven ducks. Scallops are being built, wise choice, by Rymark. Scallops and boys, although quite a few have already been built. So he is. Rymark is solid for scallops and boys. If he's in the right position with the ducks, he will do fine. If he's in the wrong position, he's gonna lose his entire base. And it looks like it's gonna be the wrong position. Cube is maneuvering away from Rymark. And still, does Rymark have radar? No, Rymark does not have radar. Cube, on the other hand, does not have radar either. Both players have been going line of sight this entire game. I am very surprised. Normally, players would have built radar by now, you know, like on these hills, for example. Great way to figure out what your opponent's doing. Very useful, surprisingly enough. And Cube going for a nice raid, just getting rid of a couple metal extractors for free. Nothing to stop him. A couple buoys and well, bully and scallop trying to deal with it, but that's not going to work out. However, these scallops are meeting up with the ducks. These two ducks are going to die. No doubt about it, and Rymer kills yet another duck, both of them for free. The main base is not well protected, however. There's a couple defenders. That will help against a f and into Lotus. That'll help against a few ducks. Cubay's army of ducks was split up, so that actually gives Rymark a good opening. In fact, he gets a couple conches as well. So very nice attack there. This is actually being very successful assault for Rymark, though Cubay at the same time is expanding to the northeast, expanding to the southwest. I mean, Rymark cutting to the center while Cubay has taken the edges of the map. Rymark probably needs to deal with this, try to take the territory over the northeast as his priority. I don't think he's aware that Cubay has taken that, seeing as he has not yet gotten radar. Nope, not yet gotten radar. Oh, he doesn't know that Cubay's over to the northeast. He should probably check, though, because he hasn't actually tried to take the northeast yet. And Cubay, with that economic advantage, he doesn't have the army advantage yet, but he's getting a gunship plant. And he's pushing now his amphib plant with a lot of... I don't know, he's gonna... Be, he might build a grizzly soon, just because he has the money to do so. I mean, he has double the economy of Rymark. Getting a Valkyrie as well... Is he, is he gonna go for a calm nap? I don't know, I don't think so. Not with a Valkyrie. You wouldn't go for that with a Valkyrie. You'd go for that with a Vindicator. But he might be just trying to scoop up a bunch of scallops and then drop them right inside of Rymark's base. Deal with him that way. That would be very interesting if he did so, and would be very damaging as well. Now, Rymark hitting the north side of the map with all of his units, just tearing it apart. But that's out of position. All of his units are out of position. Cubay can just surround in, and there we go. He is picking up the scallops, and it looks like he is probably going to bring them over. Well, we'll see where. I mean, it's basically rapid response flying scallops. No, they can't actually fire in the air. That would be just way too cheesy. However, Rymark has nicely split up Cubay's... Yeah, Cubase has... This northeast side is dead. If Rymark spots it, it is dead. There's no easy way Cubay has to reinforce that. He has the air, he has the transports. But for the most part, these are dead mexes. Over to the northeast, this dead mexes. Southwest is still live mexes. Cubay still has that. He is not going to keep the northeast, though. And actually, his commander is going to be taking a lot of damage. We'll be going down pretty soon. Scalp's coming in for Cubay. That will help out defend his commander, but his commander's gonna go down way too soon before that happens, and down Cubay's commander goes. The scallops have dropped down, and they are not even being dropped in time. A couple of them do manage to get dropped, but a bunch of them do die in the air, and the Valkyries all die as well, or will likely all die, to the ducks. So the scallops have gone down, the Valkyries going down on top of that, Cubay loses his commander, and Rymark has twice the army, and an even economy, and has broken up Seeing as he broke with the center, he can easily take out the northeast, and once he does that, he could just he should actually build up in the northeast, and he will be set. 
That being said, in the main base, we do have more Valkyrie set up. We do have more Scallop set up. And Cubase still has... A f well, okay, he has the same economy, but he has a lot of production boosts. Same time, though, a lot of workers are boosting Rymark's production. Now, I was going to joke that QA should build a Grizzly, given what he has for economy, but given, being that Rymark has now taken an economic advantage... Very good timing on this attack, by the way, but yeah, taking the economic advantage there, that will basically make Grizzly the bad choice. And Rymark, as well, his commander taking a lot of damage from Scallops and does go down on top of this, so both players have lost their commanders. However, even with that, Cubay has a much lower army value. The eco economy is even. The army value is definitely in Rymark's favor. So Cubay is going to be pushing... Let me get pushed back. He's moving forward with his transports. Wants to get a bit more damage in with the transports, and I think he will be able to do that. Moving them right inside of Rymark's base. Dropping up the scallops. They should help out, but we'll see. Getting rid of a Lotus, and... Dropping out as well, so hey, free Lotus kill. Not a bad shot. The Valkyrie, however, taking a fair amount of damage. It won't last one more drop. That Valkyrie's actually going to go down pretty... No, the Scallop goes down, never mind. Second Scallop, however, will be able to get rid of a Lotus, I think. But should go for the Caretaker. Instead, that Lotus is going to take it out before it goes down. No, thanks to the repair, that Lotus had no problem staying alive. Kyubei once again loses more Lotus. Or sorry, loses more two Lotuses. And that is going to be a... Probably a win for Rymark at this point. Rymark can just march in, and he is doing exactly that. He knows he can march in, and he is taking advantage of that. However, unfortunately, losing a lot of his ducks to a scallop, not how you want to do that. Does get rid of the scallop at the cost of seven ducks, I think. At least five. Still able to march forward, and more Valkyries coming in with scallops for rapid response scallop force. QB really likes that. I, I like this, actually. It's kind of a cute little strategy. It's definitely powerful. Does deal with the range... The, sorry, the speed disadvantage of scallops. And... Being that Cubay has no ducks to contend with, it's... Okay, he does in the main base. The ducks in the main base are going to get rid of the Valkyries. The Valkyries, however, not moving into the main base. They are hanging out just outside the main base to not get destroyed. And it looks like Rymark might want to take the southwest as well. And he has some weak... He has weak control over the northeast. He doesn't have any metal extractors. Sorry, he has metal extractors. He has no lotuses. He has no defenders. He has no way of stopping the Valkyries from hitting the northeast. Southwest being taken out as well, though, so Cubay losing even more economy. And that is problematic for Cubay. So Rymark taking more and more of the map control. Though, like I said, it's a bit tenuous. If he gets attacked, he's going to lose. At least he's going to lose that map control in the northeast. He's going to lose in the southwest as well. But it's... Wait, did... okay, so apparently Cubay might have disconnected at this point. I'm not sure. He seemed like he disconnected and rejoined... And no, I'm not using Smooth Scroll, because Smooth Scroll looks... It's hard to control, and it takes up a ton of the map, the center of the screen. Even the fact that this arrow is in the center of the screen is actually really annoying. I'd rather not have that. But, yeah, the way that Smooth Scroll works and takes up a ton of the center of the screen looks bad. Anyway, Cubay apparently is not playing. I'm really not sure. No, he's definitely playing. He's he's in. Yeah, he, he got back. The game paused and he came in, so... Cubay is playing. People in the chat were pointing out that Cubay is not actually playing. No, he is playing. He's here. He is, however, at a massive disadvantage. Three times the economy. Rymark has three times the economy and three times the army. Rymark, march to win. That's all he needs to do. Just march in and win. These Valkyries are not even loaded. But, yeah, a bunch of empty Valkyries just popping in. There's, wow. All these Valkyries are empty. Apparently just going in to distract Cubay. Oh, sorry, distract Rymark. But none of those Valkyries have anything in them. And a bunch of conches being built as well. So I think Cubay probably realizes he has lost this game. And that is just a matter of when Rymark chooses to win. At this point, Rymark broke up all the map control that Cubay had. Cubay trying to raid back at him, but Rymark's so far ahead. I'm not sure any way that Cubay could come back at this point. I mean, Rymark was making some mistakes would make that happen. But Rymark's got a decent army composition. Although, actually, at this point, he's about to make a mistake. Losing more ducks to scallops. He doesn't manage to, or he manages to kill that scallop, but keeping one duck alive, not bad. Does avoid the boy pretty well, but still not well enough. And those boys are very tough, so getting rid of them is problematic. However, Rymark. What does Rymark have here? He has lots of stuff, and he has lots of ducks in his main base as well. Building up scallops, ducks, and well, a lot of conches in between. Scallops, ducks, and boys. With many conches in between. And with 71 metal as well, probably a lot of that being reclaimed, but a great deal of that just being the sheer number of metal extractors that Rymark has. 
Yeah, Rymark has about 19 metal extractors. Approximately. Cuban, on the other hand, has two. Or maybe three. Maybe it's three. Okay. Yeah, Cube has not got much. No, never mind. He has four. Oh, how about that? He is slightly ahead, further ahead than I thought. He has four. He also has no amphib plants. And he's soon not going to have any gunship plants. And no caretakers. And yeah, this is game. Cube is likely to throw in the towel any second now. Probably going to GG. His Valkyries are over the southeast side of the map, but they contain nothing. So nothing can really be said about that. And yeah, Cube has lost this game. Ramark has taken it. Just marching his units in from the factory. Taking it all out. And that will be it. So Cube surprisingly has not yet surrendered, but he is going to surrender anytime soon. Although it looks like, no, building some caretakers. He's not quite done yet. Building a few caretakers to try to speed up construction of another factory. Cube is about to set himself up. Or try to. Not going to have much of a chance to do so, but he's going to try. Darn it, he might as well try. Reclaim what he can. Turn into caretakers. Have the caretakers build each other. But no, Cube does throw in the towel ultimately. And Rymark takes the game. Nicely done, Rymark. I'm going to have another game for you guys in just a moment. That will be a game between Anarchid and Steel Blue on Alien Desert. So I will be back with that in just a moment. Stay tuned. <laughs>